um, this is just a personal preference, but people have commented on uh, how I've rendered out in Blender, and I think it might be due to, uh, uh, I know Blender Guru recently did a tutorial on this and saying that you should always render out to still images. Uh, well, let me show you something here real quick. I am rendering out, I'm uh, 32, or sorry, 72 frames of a, uh, um, looks like I started at 30 frames, so just over 100 frames uh, animation. And I'm rendering to an AVI video using XVID compression. Now let me show you something here. Uh, I can go, this is the uh, folder that video is being saved into. Here it is in the terminal. I can run mplayer and lo and behold, I can view what I've rendered so far even though it's still rendering. Let me go back into Blender here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit escape to stop the render here. So right now uh, we're on frame 80 and we're going to frame um, 150. So we're probably about halfway done. Uh, and once again I can come in here. Uh, let me close that. Let me do it in here. I can watch what I've done so far. I haven't lost anything. Now the reasoning uh, that some people recommend rendering to uh, still images is that if you want to stop the render and start it again you're going to lose everything if you're saving to a video and that is true with certain formats but I really like the XVID format uh, which is really just an open source tool to create DivX videos so it's not really 100% open source like AUG is but it's definitely a lot more compatible and you can view videos while they're still being rendered. So while it's rendering, you can watch the animation, make sure the timing's good and stuff. So if you're rendering like a two minute video, you know, you can watch the first 30 seconds while it's still rendering and make sure it looks good. Where with still images, you don't really get the full feel. Um, now, I'm not saying everyone has to render to XVID. Uh, I mean, there's lots of different reasons to pick different compressions. Um, but XVID, as I said, is basically a DivX compression, which is compatible with pretty much everything. I can take this, put it on a flash pl drive, plug it into a USB drive, uh, plug on my TV, and watch the video, uh, no problem. Now, a lot of people will argue that other formats may be a better quality or not. But if you're saving to individual PNGs or JPEG, when you go to convert it to a video, you're going to be recompressing it. You're basically you're compressing it twice because PNG and JPEG, although they can give you really good quality, are uh, lossy formats. Uh, I think PNG might be able to go lossy or lossless. I'm not sure, but JPEG's definitely lossy, um, and and PNG in most cases is, if not all the time. And so you're compressing it once, and then you're going to take it and recompress it when you put it into a video. I don't like doing this. When those individual frames are going to take up a lot more space on your hard drive than a video file is because most modern uh, codecs will look forward and back in frames and um, compress the video based on what the frame before and after are and if the data is very similar it saves a lot of space where if they're individual JPEGs or PNGs they're going to be um, compressed but not to the point uh, as it would be in, in a video file. So advantages to compressing to something uh, AVI file using XVID, uh, one, it's very compatible, quality is still great, it will save you a lot of hard drive space compared to saving to a individual still files because then you're going to have a huge amount of individual still files and the video that you're creating after you put it together and you're not going to be double or triple compressing the video as you would be if you're going to, to from still images to a video. I'm not disagreeing with what uh, Blender Guru said, uh, at, uh, Andrew over at Blender Guru, he is a genius when it comes to Blender, it's just people have been commenting, just a few, on me saving to an AVI file rather than still images and I just wanted to show why I do it that way so that people understand that there's not just one way of doing anything, not that his way is wrong and my way is right, they're just different ways and I prefer this way. Because at this point, like I said, I'm at frame 81 here, I can come back here, I can say start at 81, and I'll click animate again, right here. And if we look back at our folder here, you can see it started creating a new file uh, at frame 81. So it's picking up right where this one left off. This one's still labeled wrong because it's labeled uh, to 150. So you may want to rename that so you remember, but really it doesn't matter because they're going to be in alphabetical order either way. And you can use FFmpeg to combine these videos and you can do it without any recompression. 
Um, as I said, with JPEGs or PNGs, you're going to take it from the JPEG compression and then recompress it into a video compression. I mean, I highly doubt any of you or really anybody's using a raw video. You're talking gigs for just a few minutes of video, uh, which is just crazy. Maybe there are people out there that do that, but in general, not. So, once again, uh, XVID or DivX files will allow you to merge and combine videos without any recompression using FFmpeg. I've gone over this in previous tutorials. Uh, basically, um, you can use FFmpeg straight or you can cat the two files together and then use FFmpeg to just regenerate the header. Either way, you're not going to lose any quality when it comes to uh, to recompressing them because you're not recompressing them, you're just merging them together. You cannot do this with every format and I would think that uh, formats that don't let you stop the render or view it while it's rendering probably don't let you do that. Uh, but it's just different from Kodak to Kodak. Um, I said Kodak, I meant Kodak. Um, so once again, you have lots of options when it comes to uh, video codecs. Um, and uh, for someone, I've done video editing for years, and the hardest part of picking the right uh, of video editing is picking the right codec. Because you need to pick something that's compatible, good quality, uh, small file size, and uh, out of everything I've looked at, um, Xvid is, does the best job. Uh, as I said, AUG files are much more open source. Uh, you're going to get great video quality, small file format. I do find, uh, I don't know about in Blender, but uh, in other situations using FFmpeg, AUG takes a lot longer to compress, to, to save the file than Xvid. Um, but, uh, and, and AUG is not always compatible with all editors, where XVID usually is because it's, it's, it's in, in an uh, AVI uh, container, and as long as you have DivX codec on there, uh, XVID videos will work. Uh, you do, once again, XVID is basically like using Lame to create MP3s. You're using open source software to create an MP3, but um, it's still an MP3 file, which is under uh, patents. So there are some legal issues of using XVID, but you're going to have legal issues if you're using the uh, something like uh, H.264 or MPEG because they're not truly open source. The only codec I know that's truly open source and you wouldn't have any patent issues uh, distributing is AUG, but the chance of someone coming after you for uploading a XVID file to the internet is very slim. Same with, with any format. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not really that enforced. Uh, in most cases. Um, so that is what I do. This is why I use Xvid. Um, YouTube accepts it great. I don't know if still, but there was a version of AUG that for a while YouTube didn't like. I think that may have been fixed since then, but I haven't really checked. But Xvid, once again, it's just I can plug the video right into my TV. Uh, pretty much any media playing device will play them because basically it's DivX file, which is been extremely popular when it comes to, well, basically started off, you know, my first experiences with DivX were downloading videos offline. Um, so, but now it's just, and you used to have to download the codecs and you still have to with like Windows Media Player, I believe, but most players will have those codecs uh, built in. So, I hope I've explained myself. I've rambled on for a while now. Um, so, just wanted to explain myself. You do what you feel uh, is right. I just wanted to comment on that because viewers were commenting on it and I wanted to explain why I do what I do. Uh, thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Have a great day.